The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two very excellent stand-up comedians. Uh, first, he loves penises and hates vaginas. Please welcome back Mr. JP. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't hate vaginas. <laughs> Vaginers. I don't hate them. Okay. You don't, you don't I want loathe them. them. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Uh, but welcome back again, a very, very good comedian who actually is a traveling comedian compared to everybody else. Please welcome back the very funny Mike Baldwin. I want a vagina also. <laughs> nice. But different than I yeah, think what JP I, meant. I think you want the woman around it as well. <laughs> yeah. And you can have her. I yeah. just, I want to carry a vagina around yeah. on my penis. You can, <laughs> you can do that now. Yeah, you probably can. They call them pocket it. pussies. Yeah, I guarantee <laughs> no, it. No, not a fake one. I want, oh, I need oh, one, one. Yeah, a whole one attached to a, a hot trick and okay. everything. Okay. All right. That's good. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was, like, I, I was like, I need to get laid. And Scotty was like, well, then come on come the, on the show. show. Yeah. Because that's how that happens. It is. That's how it works. Hit me up, ladies. Yep. Uh, but we have an excellent uh, episode for you guys today. If this is the very first time you have listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. But we do have an excellent episode today. We've got headlines, never have I ever, that's where I draw the lines, questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to that kind of stuff, we're going to tell y'all what happened to us over the last uh, week or couple of weeks, because we know you really fucking care. Uh, and we're always going to start uh, our week, week <laughs> recap off with the anticlimactic Mr. JP. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I wish... Can I guess? You can. <laughs> okay. You get three guesses. I get three guesses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bold. Boom. Smoked pot. Boom. Played video games. Boom. Hey. <laughs> All right. That about sums it up for me. Oh, come on. You've done some No, I stuff. really don't think I did. Really? <laughs> I went to Noodles and Company once. Hey, that's good. So that's new. Yeah. I, I mean, I go there a lot, actually. I love fucking noodles, and but, I love company. Yeah, that's good. So to put both of them together in one restaurant. Yeah. It's my, one of my favorite places. Well, I'll be darned. Good for you. Yeah. Um, I well, think that's really all I did. <laughs> I mean, well, I went to work. Well, we've had, uh, we have some ideas that you and I talked about over yeah, the last man. couple of weeks. Yeah. Possibly doing skits. Yeah. I don't know about skits, but we're, we're definitely going to try and work for some bonus content. Yeah. Like there's one guy that wanted to bowl me. Yeah. I'm going to put a hundred bucks up. We'll okay. A bowl. We'll film it. We'll show you guys. We'll do some extra stuff. But yeah. We're, uh, we're gonna take this bitch to the next level <laughs> here in the med. Just give us about a month. We're gonna, we're yeah. gonna, yeah, it's I, gonna be awesome. I like this, and and you know what? Everybody is on board. Yeah, dude, I'm I know. Excited. I love that. So uh, check us out on OnlyFans. <laughs> Turbo Absolutely. <Tugs. laughs> Look, it's about time we start getting paid. Uh, I can't do this anymore, man. <laughs> I gotta get paid. We gotta get you to the retirement. Yes, point. dude. Yeah. I mean, retirement. I would settle for like. 200 bucks an episode <laughs> Minim dude, and that's minimum not, wage that's like minimum wage <laughs> you know stars they make like yeah thousands and hundreds uh, of uh, thousands of dollars per hour an episode. oh yeah uh, i feel like we deserve that okay, I, don't, I feel like i've been here long enough that <laughs> I, I, I don't it's disagree for, it's time yeah. for daddy to start getting paid there you go that's all. all right fine well well let's go ahead and move on to mike i know mike you've been on the road quite a bit so what's uh, what's been happening to you lately 
Um, I first I watched uh, For All Mankind on Apple TV Plus. Have you? No, I haven't. It's pretty good. It's the basis is uh, what if Russia landed on the moon oh, first? I, oh, okay. I did see that. It's like, like I, it's an alternate history sort of thing. And man, it was really good. I'll have to uh, check that out. And, and and it's still going. And then I played a decent amount of Zelda. Uh, I shaved my beard. Yeah, you look great. Well, I'm still I'm too fat. I'm like I, I <laughs> No, you look great. My beard covered up all of my face fat <laughs> and I shaved it off and I was just like, oh, oh no. that was a mistake. <laughs> But it'll grow back. I don't care. I went to Arizona for a couple weeks. I had shows out there at uh, like casinos and at a comedy club. And I went a week early to hang out with my sister and my nieces and my brother-in-law. And it was awesome. I had a good time. It was like fun family week and lots of reminiscing and funny like childhood tales and stuff like that. And, and uh, you know, family, love them, all yeah. that. Lots of driving. Lots of driving. Yeah, I drove. I uh, every extreme you could think of, like through the desert, up a mountain, like rain, snow. It, it was fun. Fucking sounds biblical over there. It was <clears throat> because the Lord was with the me. The Lord was with me. Sometimes I let Jesus take the wheel. That's right. Yeah, but Jesus taking the wheel for me is the auto steer on my Honda Fit. There nice. you go. There I, you go. I call it Jesus. Hey, there you go. I'm like, just take the wheel, Honda Lane Assist. Uh, the only reason why I knew that you did and did a lot of driving was because you posted a video of it on your Twitter that came up, and I'm like, Mike is just telling a story about him driving. Yeah, that's pretty much all it was. And then I, was I did like, it. What the fuck? I made the the video part of it first. I edited it all together, and then I did the voiceover button on my editing app. And I did that in one take, and I was like, perfect. <laughs> it was just me. I made a few jokes, perfect. though. Like, I tried, there were, uh, I saw elk. There were like elk crossing the street, so traffic had to stop and shit. And there yeah. were like 20 of them. And I just tried to say it as hillbilly as I could. And I was like, I seen elks, you guys. I seen a bunch of elks. And I sure enough got a few messages that were just like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, is that really how you talk? And I'm just like, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's awesome. So but, yeah, so how was your comedy shows? Uh, they were good. Well, uh, some were better than others. The comedy club. <laughs> I mean, I was equally good. Equally great. Night. It was the rest of those son of a bitches. <laughs> the, the comedy club shows were all good. Um, the casino shows, we did three different casinos. Uh, and they had... There was one that like made us go and register at security and get like a, a vendor badge and all of this stuff. Wow. And, and there was one that wouldn't let us sell merchandise because of like whatever. It was an Indian casino, so whatever random laws they have, like nobody can make money there. Oh, you mean Except you mean you meant you meant feather, not dot, right? Uh, okay. We don't talk like that oh, anymore. Okay. It's, right. it's 2019. <laughs> Let's fucking grow up. Uh, but yes, feather. Okay, uh, perfect. The ones, the ones uh, responsible for the comfortable way to sit on the ground. <laughs> gotcha. I saw there was a comedian once that was like, I got in trouble in grade school because the teacher told us to sit Indian style, so I just laid on the curb with a <laughs> bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I forget oh, who said that, Jesus. but if you're watching, sorry that I just stole your joke. <sighs> oh, fuck. But yeah, good times. What about you? Now do you. Okay. Uh, I've, I've had a very, very crazy weekend. <laughs> First of all, I have ridiculous brain fog right now. Uh, I have not been feeling very good the last three days and uh, could not... And I, here I am here sitting beside sitting you, right son next of to me. a bitch. Okay, but I broke my fever, so I know I'm not fucking contagious. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> the thing was is that it, it, I was definitely sick. I was running a fever, and I couldn't take something to fix it. So uh, yesterday, I just got sick and tired of it, and I made one of the worst decisions of, uh, of all time. Did you just drink? I drank yep. five margaritas. Without a kid. Mm. Oh, Dude. Did it wow. cure you instantly? <laughs> yeah. He I feel thought good. so. I feel good today. <laughs> yeah, he thought it did. I feel way better today. Uh, so I have your no brain idea. fog probably has probably nothing has, to yeah, do yeah, with your illness yeah, at all. That's, all of a sudden, that's the what truth I was comes say. out. <laughs> that's yeah, what I was going to say. I don't, you're know. Over. I don't know if the brain fog is because of the yeah. tequila or because of what I had. That's like me getting pulled over, and I'm like, no 
no officer i'm not high i'm just real tired <laughs> yeah yeah exactly. i stayed up all night and he's like well did you smoke weed also it's like, well yeah but yeah, but that was hours the ago. red eyes are from tired ah uh, shit but so yes uh so i'm going to be needing you guys to help me through the show today so uh yeah because you know because i'm so important anyways uh but yeah so there was that um but then uh, we also had uh a lot of uh, family members come into town this week because uh, if you guys are fucking living under a rock and still can't realize, but my brother is actually getting married in a month. Oh. And so, yeah. And so if you're a part of the wedding, guess what? You got to get fitted for suits and all of this other shit. And so uh, two weeks ago, we went and got measured, right? And uh, they measured me at the place. I'm getting how, the, how many inches? How many are inches you? were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Solid six. No, oh, I'm kidding. Oh, wow. That's uh, double what I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so, anyways, they measured us and said, okay, well, we're going to have him to, ready to go yeah. and you'll come back in two weeks and we'll try out the fit. One of the, the people that got measured, got measured back where he lives in Arkansas oh, and then yeah, came in yeah. for this week. Right. Oh, no. And that's fuck my brother-in-law. Holy fuck. Dude. Every time, dude, we, we go Never in there. Fails. They, they got us into the dressing room and I put on these pants, which I maybe <laughs> could have fit a Brad Williams sized person in so, those fucking pants. So they pants. were a little long on you, were they? <laughs> Not only they long, they were fuck. I mean, they were huge. I couldn't fucking, I mean, like dude, me and my awesome. brother-in-law are actually walking out of the dressing room, holding our pants up because if we dropped our pants, are, they would go all the way to the ankles. You know oh, what I mean? Man. So there was that, and uh, the guy just wasn't faced. He was like, "Oh no, we'll take care of all yeah, of that." I'm yeah. like, "But fucking better, Jesus yeah, Christ, they will, man!" Yeah. So I did that. Did they save money because you were in a kid size? Because <laughs> that would be no wonder they had you in the wedding. There were so many fucking comments last week because of me, when me and JP stood up to give Derek a, oh. a round of applause, and I literally moved nowhere, <laughs> and JP was completely out of the fucking shot. Dude, I watched. I was watching it. <laughs> The car on my way to work yeah. dude i was in tears yeah. I, was, dude, I was like holy fuck you really can't tell like can't. it just looks like you sat up a little bit yeah exactly yeah. fucking funny i don't know what you're talking about i don't watch this show <laughs> yeah well well you know um but uh, then so we we got that figured out and i guess they're gonna fix the suits and all that stuff but naturally because everybody's in town and all the family and stuff we went out to uh to have like lunch and shit and we ended up going to pf chang's which i haven't been in a really long time uh and i yeah wow man i know wow and it's sad it's very sad it used to be so good yeah oh i to... thought you were i thought that was a positive wow no ah, okay no it's like glorified sweet and sour chicken yeah, yeah. like their lettuce anymore. wraps are fucking the bomb but they even changed those and they're not yeah. as good as i remember so dude everywhere that was good when i was a kid just sort of Shit, sucks now, now. yeah yeah 100 percent uh, so when we were, but the cool part was, is, uh, my, my brother-in-law's girlfriend, uh, comes and meets us at PF Chang's. And the first thing that she does, is she comes straight up to me and she goes, Oh my God, I work with a guy that, um, thinks your guys' fucking podcast is the coolest thing in the fucking world. Nice. So he sends a text message to her to basically relay the message. And it was basically, uh, I fucked your sister. Go fuck yourself. You suck Scotty or something along those lines. His name is Cable. I found out. Cable? His real name's Caleb, but he goes by Cable. He goes by Cable. Uh, apparently. Wow. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that sounds like a mistake <laughs> turned to his benefit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it was, that could mean several things. <laughs> it could. Yeah. So I'd, like to, I'd like to get a picture of this Cable. <laughs> okay. And, uh, well. Make uh, my own judgments. But apparently, uh, like, uh, my, my brother-in-law's girlfriend said, you should sign something. And I'm like, fucking what? I don't have anything to sign. Oh, so, let us wrap. <laughs> yeah. No. So it was like uh, I had just ate my fucking fortune cookie, took out the fortune, and I'm like, I guess. You sign the so fortune. Signed, <laughs> signed the back of a fortune cookie and sent it. So hopefully, Cable, I hope you like that, buddy. Yeah, man. What was the fortune? I can't even remember. It's like you're going to fall into a, a large sum of money soon or some shit like that. Which fuck. I, I I've should, been looking for that fortune. I know. I was like, fuck, I should have kept it. But um, yeah. oh, well. Now uh, Cable's so. going to be real. Rich. Yeah, so Cable, uh, Wamigo, Manhattan, hi. How, hope you have a great one, you motherfucker. And then last but not least, uh, William Payne sent us a message, and he wants us to give him a shout-out because his birthday was on April 6th. So happy birthday, and uh, there's that. Speaking yeah. of shout-outs and birthdays, yeah. we have We do have another person. Birthday yeah, we have a in pretty, the house. Yeah, well, he's not in the he's house. He's not in the house right now, but he I normally know, is. I know who it is. Yeah. Who is it? Derek, right? Yeah, it is Derek. It is Derek Alders. Derek Alders. 
And he's such a fucking dick, too. Because what a piece of shit. Here's the deal. <laughs> if you look him up on Facebook for his birthday, oh, it's like, wrong. Yeah. And he, he does, does that on purpose. purpose. Yeah. Well, so he gets double happy birthdays yes, every year. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then he berates the people that give him the fake one. <laughs> exactly. Like, you should know me better. Yeah. And, yeah. My, That's actually my, only funny. my closest friends know my real birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, happy birthday to Derek Alders. It's also Frazier's birthday. Happy birthday, Frazier. Frazier from Frazier? No. Fra- well, I mean, to me, yes. Like, but cheers, Frazier? No. Oh. Uh, just the a guy that I've gone to school with since fourth grade. Oh. And we're still friends to this day. Does he listen to the show? He will now, now that I'm <laughs> nice. like, hey, check okay. this out. I mentioned you. Fair <laughs> enough. Nice. Fair enough. So well, uh, if you know me, then you probably know Frazier. And if you do, then tell him that I told him happy birthday on this thing. There you go. So, oh, yeah. That reminds me. Uh, when I was in Arizona, I was on top of a mountain. I was in Pine Top, Arizona, doing a comedy show at an Indian casino. And dude comes up to me and is like, dude, from the show. Like, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, I thought like, that, yeah. Oh, that was cool. And he gave me cool. some weed, too. That, that's even better. That's, that's, I mean, that's like, that's a hundred percent, man. I, I thought about not even bringing it home with me, though, because the last time somebody gave me a big bag of drugs and I had to drive home, I got pulled over and arrested, and it cost me <laughs> thousands of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, it was mushrooms, but... Still yeah. driving through Texas and Kansas yeah. and Oklahoma. Hmm. Well, I think it's legal in Oklahoma. Anyway, pretty sure it is. Yeah. Long story short, I brought it and it, I made it. Quality of weed? Uh, high. Very good. Oh, good. <coughs> I mean, right on. All, all weed is like. No, that's not true. <laughs> it is to me. <laughs> well, JP has I told disagree. me. <laughs> I disagree. I smoke like one hit an hour or whatever. Uh, like. Some people smoke blunts what? and shit like that. Like, I just have, like, a little one-hitter. Here and there, yeah. yeah. I got a buddy like that. I'm like, wow. just fucking smoke, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that shit. Oh, I'm... I, I, I can't. I would bet you've never seen me sober <laughs> <laughs> you have told me and I, I don't i, I, I can't I think you. of a time I to be honest uh, honestly though dude today yeah. i i normally smell it pretty heavy don't smell it at all i smoked before i headed out oh i got you so I got you. not in the car and i put some cologne on oh very good Just, you know yeah little, absolutely some little touches you good, know good keep everybody you. around here comfortable and oh, happy absolutely i kind of like getting a fucking contact high just from sitting next to you i yeah. don't think that's true oh but i do i don't th- i mean i don't think you get one <laughs> oh. from just smelling like weed you gotta like have the smoke blown in your face uh, or you Speaking just, of things blown in your face, <laughs> yeah. tell us more. My about My birthday's your coming up in August. Uh, yo, so really? If there's anybody out there that wants to give me a birthday present, August what? Fourteenth. Ah, uh, yeah. Mine's oh. the seventh. Yeah, I knew we were really close. I thought we were within a week of each other. And so. my wife is the twenty second. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So we'll have a. Joint my mom's birthday is the twenty third. Holy shit! Fuck. Let's try to remember or try to figure out if anybody yeah. else has birthdays right we'll around. Do, there. We'll do an August shindig. <laughs> we should. Oh, I'm in. Boy. All right. All right. Let's do one of the things that are written on the thing. Absolutely. We're going to move okay. on to headlines. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, is this sports? Yeah. Fucking dumb. So we had the we had both the NCAA champions for the women's and, and the men's the and both of them were the fucking two teams that I did not want to Dude, win. There was no way UConn was losing, man. Oh, I know. They were, I knew they were going to fucking. They were good. I, they're too good. And like, it sucks. Yeah. Man. Is that March Madness? Yes. The yeah, men's so national cha- Yeah, the men's national champion this year is going to be, or is, is UConn, who just so happens to be my best friend's favorite basketball nice. team. And so I'm going to get shit from Michi for like another year. So thank you for that. But you know what? At least it wasn't KU. That's all that matters. That's true. Fuck them. So I'm happy. Were there any like <clears throat> surprises? Oh, yeah. NC State making it to the final four. Yeah, it was an 11 crazy. seed, and they, they got their ass handed to them by Purdue. So did anybody famously get all, all like correctly? Oh, I guess I, everything. I, I sincerely doubt it. It's so impossible. So I doubt it. But yeah, if they I, did, I looked it up. I asked Chat GPT, and it gave me like a, <laughs> a, a long number. And then I was like, <laughs> compare it to other things. Tell me. And it was, and it said, it's like getting struck by lightning five 
five times in a row. Mm -hmm. It's like winning the lottery like four times in a row. Wow. It's ridiculous. A bunch of other random shit. Like, yeah, it's very <laughs> preposterous. It is. So congratulations uh, to oh who is the 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 women's team South Carolina yeah. South Carolina beat Iowa which really sucked because yeah, I, was, really I was rooting for Iowa I was rooting for Iowa too but I then again I really don't care it's still women's basketball to me okay yeah. so it sucks that Caitlin <clears throat> didn't win or whatever her name is but oh well Caitlin or whatever you know it's Caitlin Clark Clark man. you I know her goddamn I name. knew her first name but I couldn't remember you're her a last fan name. Nah, don't lie not really you are. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, so basketball is, is over, and I'm okay with that. I'm happy that we can now move on to a much better sport, which is baseball. Hmm. Baseball season is awesome, <sighs> and I can't. I'm, I'm going to have to disagree. <laughs> oh, God, man. St. Louis had to start off going up against the Dodgers, which sucked. But then they turn around and they beat the shit out of Miami. Yeah. And uh, but Miami, I think, hadn't won a single game, but they beat us once, and so that was their first win. Yeah. So it's, it's a fun season. But I did you guys see the uh, Otani? his first home run as a Dodger, the whole shindig around that? No. Okay, so this girl caught the ball, and, and it was Otani's very first home run as a Dodger, and he really wanted that ball. Right. And the girl, I can't tell if she's being honest or not, but, like, the, the Dodgers actually, like, was trying to pry the ball out by giving her shit. Right. And she got some stuff, but then she went on social media and said that they were kind of assholes about getting the ball. You're like, you're going to give us the ball. Pretty much. You know, we'll give you this other shit. We'll give you this other we're, shit. We're taking the ball. But she also made the comments like, I didn't want to get any monetary gain out of this. And I'm like. Fuck, I'd have put that motherfucker in my pants and run out of the yes. stadium so <laughs> fucking fast, dude. I would be balling. <laughs> exactly. It's like. I mean, and I think they said something along the lines of that baseball, uh, because it's Otani's first home run as a oh. as a Dodger, it was like a hundred thousand dollar ball. Like dumb fuck, bitch, she fuck gave you. it back. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. I Give me a hundred grand, and you can have the ball. You can have the ball. Okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, fuck that. But uh, so that that was just a really weird deal. It would be different if it was like a sentimental something like yeah. But it's his first fucking home run as a Dodger. Whoop the fuck. Give me the hundred grand. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the only way you're getting the ball from 100%. me. One hundred percent. I, I mean, and like, I would go into it not even realizing. Oh, they really want this ball. How, oh, it's right. How as much soon do as you they, want? Yeah, yeah, that would have been the key to be like, hmm. <laughs> I should keep this. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. This is how much this ball is going to cost you. I would. <laughs> I would immediately drop ship it to Derek and yes. say, "Put this in your case. That's, we're gonna, we're gonna be back for this later." <laughs> yep, one hundred percent. Uh, so yeah, I mean, and I was going to add, how about you, Mike, if you, let's say your favorite like sports figure mm -hmm. gives you a ball or a puck <laughs> or something. Those, right? Yeah. Do you even have one? Not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> but I can imagine. All right, what does he give me? He gives me a puck or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Would you just give him, give him the the whatever out of the goodness of your heart, or are you charging that motherfucker for it? Uh, I mean, it really depends on the situation. Let uh, me tell you how much the, this contract is worth that Otani just signed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I feel like I would just slide it into my pocket. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Be like, we'll talk after the game. Go, right. go have if, fun. If Otani was walking down the street and dropped a hundred thousand dollars, he wouldn't notice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. That's all I'm saying. That's true. So, can a brother get hooked up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but moving on to golf, believe it or yeah, not, the Masters get ready the to Masters start. Masters and Tigers playing. Yeah, dude. It's if you bet twenty bucks mm -hmm. on Tiger on Tiger to win. And he wins. And he wins. It's like 13 or 14 grand or Holy something. Holy shit, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's no, not. No, yes, it is, dude. Holy fuck. Yes, it is. I so, might do dude, that. I, I, fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know how I spent $20 a lot of worse places, <laughs> yeah, you absolutely. know what I mean? And it is Tiger Woods, and what a fucking story it would be. Oh, so, yeah. you know, it might be in the script. It could be. Just think but if you bet that dude a, is a so million fucked dollars. up, man, unfortunately. It, it is, yeah. His body is just not. It, he's, you, he, know how, you know how Did he over golf himself? No, he got in a bad car yeah, accident. Yeah, bad car oh, accident, right. accident years ago, and he's finally, like, I don't even know if they say he's fully recovered recovered but he, I mean, he'll never fully he'll never recover, fully recover from that it's like he like broke the fact both that he can legs. even play fucking golf is, is incredible man. yeah like. and um so but everybody's rooting for him everybody's rooting for him to win and i think you naturally do he's probably not his ex <laughs> <laughs> yeah not everybody <laughs> not everybody but, but a lot of people but yeah and so this is 
this is kind of the the first big tournament that everybody gets like excited about, and it's it's one of the best at Augusta National, and uh, I, I'm excited for it. And I'm a golfer, and I'll be watching it. Okay, it's only like thirty five hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. still. Fuck. But still for twenty bucks, twenty yeah. bucks, kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah that's still pretty good. But I, yeah. the, that, to me, excellent odds. Golf is like every other sport. Like I'll I'll watch the highlights. Yeah, and be like that was good. Yeah, but I'm not, <laughs> that I was really good. I can't sit through three hours of bullshit yeah. in the hopes of seeing the good thing. You know, and it's crazy, but I can watch golf on TV and enjoy it. Yeah, I, baseball on TV. Mm. Can't do it, dude. It's so boring, dude. I, I, I think you just if you I just, love going to games. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd be a new person, but way, on yeah. TV, it's so boring. Dude. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just don't get Royals games on any channel that I've had in the last. I remember that every Royals game was on TV which is, when I was which a is kid. Bullshit. What the fuck? It's it's ball. Is it Bali or whoever the Royals games? I'm not a Royals fan, but I feel bad for you fuckers because we're in like the area with Kansas well, that's City why Royals. They don't fans. do it. Yeah. They, they want you to go to the game. They want. Well, no, yeah. it's not that. They want you to pay the subscription for their little fucking oh, network yeah, so yeah. you can watch it when right. it used to be just on basic regular fucking TV. Yeah. Yeah. So, fucking baseball. It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Agreed. So, anyways, by that's that. Okay. Um we got to we got to bring it up again. Uh, we got an update. We got an update. <laughs> yeah, what is this? I don't I haven't been here. The, oh, you don't know about the diddler? You don't know about the diddler? <laughs> Tell me. Oh, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. man. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, Wait, still so they, they still haven't caught him. Are they trying to catch him? Oh, they're very much trying to catch him. <laughs> yeah, they and are. where is he? They don't know. Nobody knows. Where did he fly to? On Nobody knows. Nobody somebody, knows. I thought somebody said he flew somewhere like before they raided his house. Yeah, oh, he yeah, did. He, he flew to he flew out to like Miami and he was at but, Miami Airport whenever they started like whenever they started the home raids. Okay. And, and then, then he, he took off. Yeah, he took off from then, realized that the plane was being tracked, and so they either removed the tracker or turned that shit off. And now we, they don't know where the fuck he is. All they do know is the sex trafficking ring apparently is going to probably get some other fuckers in yeah, trouble. Yeah, it's not going to just be Puffy. It ain't just going to be P. Diddles. <laughs> no. no, it's going to be some other people. These are the, This is the slow leak before the, the flood begins. Correct. And yeah. there's a bunch of fucking rumors. And, like, I mean, LeBron James is one of them. Like, Ellen DeGeneres. Like, does that bunch. really surprise you? Wait, Fuck so no. Puff Daddy made Ellen DeGeneres blow him? Uh, no, no, no they're just, just like just, two separate, just a, a kind of a pedo ring that they had. Like, and, yeah, then LeBron, yeah, comes I've been saying that since 2015. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, but it's like it's just really sketchy. I really want them to catch this dude, but they good luck now at this point. I so. don't know why we don't have like. You get your dick chopped off, laws. <laughs> I don't either. For like this it, shit, it, it's like if I go to to whatever country chops your hand off for stealing. Yeah, ain't no way I'm fucking stealing anything Correct. from anywhere. Mm -hmm. if, if somebody drops money on the street, I'm gonna be like, sir, sir, you dropped this. Except Oof. for it's a hundred thousand dollars for a baseball. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> no, okay. even that, I'd be like, I will give this back because I don't want you to construe this as me stealing. <laughs> yeah, like, I, but yeah. still, like. It, there's no fear. The only fear is like, you know, like, let's not tell each other or, or on each other, you know, because because we could we'll lose our jobs and it'll severely damage our reputation. Sure. And the thing is, is like it. I mean, you have this and then you had the Nickelodeon documentary of, mm -hmm. of Dan Schneider and all these other situations. It's like, holy fuck, people. What the hell is going on? It's ridiculous. And everybody, I mean, this is not a fucking political issue. Everybody should be, like, all on the same page with this. Yeah. These are shitty fucking people. And, uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, but, yeah, just a little update. No uh, no sign of the diddler yet. He is out there He's somewhere. He's out there at hide large. Your, hide your kids. Hide <laughs> your wife. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's. <laughs> They're raping everybody. Like, I know the, the cops or FBI or whoever are looking for him. I wonder how many, like, private investigators. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many rich people were like, I'll give you 100 grand. You go find Silence him before anybody Silence this motherfucker. Else. Yeah. <laughs> the Clintons are looking for him for sure. 100% for sure. I uh, feel like the Clintons would just easily be like, he's lying. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're the fucking Clintons. You're going to listen to this guy? They'll probably just unalive him. While he's in jail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now wait till he gets... They're not stupid. Yeah. They're not going to spend the money to catch him, <laughs> but once he's caught... I, I saw a very, very 
funny video. It's funny now, but like it was actually of P. Diddy on, it was on an interview show and I don't know which one it was, but Mike Tyson was sitting right next to him and P. Diddy was like, had his hand on Mike Tyson's leg and Mike freaked the fuck out. Wow. Oh yeah. He's like, he took his hands and he like moved away from him because he was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> wow. It's like, whoa, dude, not to Mike Tyson. He will kill you. Yeah. So there's that. But anyways, uh, moving on. I think everybody in their fucking mom has been talking about this and I was, I mean, okay. The eclipse. Okay. Mm, yeah. The eclipse where everybody is like, freaking the fuck out about this stupid there's conspiracy theories saying like it opened a fucking portal somewhere or whatever there was fucking ufos and videos and shit like that and i'm like holy crap this happened back in 2017 too and it's gonna happen again and people just i mean but it's still a a rare it is thing it's it's cool nature and it isn't it's like seeing a tornado or something. You're like, look at that. Isn't I don't know. that amazing? Mother I Nature's chase tornadoes. crazy. They're not amazing. They're, <laughs> if you get too close, they're very scary. Yes, yeah, so is an eclipse. No. If you get too close. You look with right at it without the glasses. Which, which fucking cracks me up. I mean, it's like we put on a welding mask or something like that, but you got people that are buying these fucking like glasses and shit to, so they can watch this thing for like a minute and a half or whatever it was. And it's so. I'm like. Why? Dumb. I know. I know a lot of people get into it, but dude, so like the one in 2017 was really close to Kansas to where like total, yeah, totally it was 100%. Uh, yeah. Well, this back then, not. like there were people that flew from other countries oh, yeah. to, co- well, to dude, go and watch this fucking thing. There was a deal on my Facebook today, I guess in 2027 or 2028. Uh-huh. There's a place in Egypt where they're going to have seven full minutes of totality. Oh, and they're Jesus. like offering packages so that you can fly to Egypt and experience the. It's insane. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. No. They're, that's a dumbass reason to go to Egypt. Go to Egypt because it's fucking yeah. cultural and phenomenal. Yeah, and you, you know, wanna, the pyramids and shit. Not for the fucking eclipse. No. Man. Dude, all over the highway, all the signs were like, turn on your lights, eclipse today, whatever. Yes. Motherfucker, it never got dark. <laughs> exactly. It got dusky. Yeah, it just kind of looked weird, but it was it fine. Did, yeah. Even my automatic lights were like, nah, we're good. <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah. you. Yeah, I drove home during it. You're like, it's dark. And they're and like, my no, lights it's not. never came on. So, yeah. and that's the thing. There were hotel hotels were fucking sold out <laughs> everywhere. We're talking. Texas, a lot of people went to Texas. So, Econolodge, I saw this. I don't know if this is 100% correct, but I, I at least saw a lot of things like this, but there was like an Econolodge that was selling uh, their rooms for rent or whatever for $2,000 a fucking night. Dude, I wow. believe it. That's Kiss crazy. And they probably got ass. it, too. Oh, I'm sure they did. I'm fucking sure they did. I, I'd be I'd be sleeping in my fucking car. You can kiss oh, my ass. Absolutely, grand. dude. I won't even spend like over $100 if, po- I'm, yeah. if I'm paying for my own room. I mean, I, I'll, I'll kind of go. I'll, I'll be not, especially if it's my wife with me or something like that. But no, I'm not spending two grand on a fucking hotel room. That's ridiculous. The next total solar eclipse is august 12th 2026 oh so that's not even too far away it won't be here it'll be in greenland iceland spain russia and a small portion of portugal oh well have fun over there guys the next one in the u.s will be august 22nd 2044 jesus but See, it's super rare. It's it's not, yeah. I it mean, still wasn't it. that fucking cool. <laughs> it's still not that fucking cool. They happen all the time all over the world, but yeah. most of the time it's just over a spot in the ocean or something. Have you seen the video of uh, the the solar eclipse as viewed from space? Yeah. It's like, it's literally just a circle, mm-hmm. like on Earth. Yeah. It's not like the Earth is blocked out or anything. It's right. just that one spot. Yep. So, I mean, it's it's rare that it happens where you are. It's, yeah. it's like lightning striking. Like, lightning is striking right this very second right. somewhere on Earth. And this is just uh, just a memo out for all you flat earthers out there. Fucking, You're right. Yeah, let's go. What do you got? Explain. Uh, well, the, whoever's running the algorithm of the fucking... <laughs> Of the simulations, just push the eclipse button. Push the ball. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty easy to figure out. Did you see? I saw a clip on the news where uh, an expert called into the news to talk about the eclipse, and he had a video that he was going to show them of, like, how the eclipse works, and he had a light 
off in the background and then you slowly see a shadow come in front and then you notice that the shadow is the dude's balls <laughs> yeah i saw that it's it on was facebook on, like, morning actually. news yeah, yeah. It's fucking and hilarious. they're like ah and they cut away <laughs> and they all just tried to not laugh that's excellent i thought so well that is headlines for this week uh now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show uh and i do want to apologize i know monday friday is is what i we decided to change yeah, it to I, I was i was kind of disappointed I was very, very sick, and I was literally just, like, sleeping, and so I totally fucking forgot all about it, and so when I realized it, I was like, oh, shit, and it was Sunday. Monday, Sunday it was. So it was Monday, Sunday, so after uh, for the I la- After for the last three weeks, I've been like, it's going to be Monday, it's, Friday. It's going to be on pro- Friday. Get your suggestions, in. and then we fuck off until Sunday, and that's fine. You were sick, dude. My apologies. That happens, man. My fucking apologies. You know what? If the 300 people that listen have a problem with it, they can go fuck themselves. I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We send out a post every I single know, week. I know, but I don't know what month means. Month? Go ahead, JP. Nope. Okay. I'm not. No. Nope. This is all look, you, buddy. You should just look it up. All right. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, um, but now, now we get to am move I, on. Am I saying, a ba- you, am I offending someone? <laughs> no, it's really you, gross. Yeah, you obviously is. don't listen to the show. <laughs> yeah. No, I said that I don't. Well, <laughs> I'm was, here as a as a personality. Yeah, I'm not here as a you know Google Google two month. There, have a good time. Two month. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now we get to move on to never have I ever. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for participating in Month Day Sunday. Thank you all so very much. Uh, we're gonna kick this bad boy off with Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know: Never have I ever watched someone change through a window. Fucking peeper. I have. Have you? <laughs> yeah, my next door neighbor. I I totally like. Was she hot? She was my next door neighbor. <laughs> okay. She was my age and okay. Like I I don't know, but it, we were more brotherly sisterly than anything. So it was like Mikey, get the hell out of here, kind of a thing. <laughs> oh it it wasn't God. like ooh, Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, I was just playing out in the yard. I didn't. I wasn't looking at anything. <laughs> I have not done this. I, I no, I have never done this. JP, I'm fucking terrified. So here's this is crazy <laughs> that you, this is crazy that you bring this up. I have not, but you had opportunity to watch Derek. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, oh shit. So my neighbor, the dude, the the kid that ha- has got a room on the side of the house, yeah, and he doesn't have curtains on his window. Well, it just so happens to be the side of the house that I'll go over and take a piss beside the house <laughs> or whatever. Uh, fucking. Or it's whatever. Just what is in that? behind the trap. Smoke. Ah, I'll okay. sit out and smoke a bowl or whatever mm-hmm. in behind so the garage. So you'll stand and smoke in the but, same spot where your right. pee is? So I can. No, no, no. <laughs> Not fucking exactly. Not exactly. Wipe your feet, dude. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not looking in his window. Yeah. For one. He's ugly, yeah, and fat, and I just, I just wouldn't, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like a week ago, all of a sudden he had curtains. Like uh. I think they thought, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I think maybe uh, one. Why is that guy always standing out here? <laughs> so we have this, we have this one neighbor Joe. He's fucking in everybody's bullshit business. Oh, I hate one of those like guys. That. As soon as you come out the door, hey, how you doing? And he's across the street talking to him. Uh. Like go the fuck away, Joe. I'm late for work. Anyway, I feel like. Joe's like, you know, that kid's over there peeking in your window. <laughs> but really, I was just taking a piss and smoking a bowl. Why are you peeing but, uh, outside? Because if I go, okay, here's my room. Okay. Then I got one flight of stairs, two flights of stairs. So laziness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Correct. That's, that's all I needed. Yeah. Correct. All right. Fair enough. Plus, uh, come on, you're a dude. You don't pee outside sometimes? I try not to. I, Why? I, not, I, I, I have. It. I definitely have. I've probably peed outside twice in the last year. I peed outside twice today. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, yeah, no, I get it. I, okay. I totally get it. Uh, anyways, next one comes in from John Flanagan. He wants to know, never have I ever shit my pants at work and had to cut uh, to cut boxers off and go commando until you got off of work. Yeah. Cut the boxers off because if you try to slide them down, you're just <laughs> yeah, that's just going to make a bigger mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pardon me, I need to go to the restroom. Can I borrow your knife? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scissors. Yeah, whatever uh, it no. takes. No, no. I've, I've never done that. I have shit my pants before. Uh-huh. But, me but, too, but never at work. 
Yeah, and it's like, oh, when you shit your pants at work, it's just, it's not like it's a whole fucking turd. That was a joke on my first album. What? Just if you want to leave work in the middle of the day, you then shit your, pants. your yeah. pants. And then the joke was like, you don't even have to really do it. Like any <laughs> boss will just be like, we go, go, go home. home. Go Quiet, home. Quietly not me. get out of here. I'd be like, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the rest of Come the here. joke. Oh, damn it. No, I've so. not. I've never cut my fucking like underwear no. off. I've definitely shit myself at work, but this is why I also have an extra pair of underwear in my truck at all times. There's only two ways that you shit your pants. One is by complete accident, <laughs> and the other is a total decision. <laughs> Or you're just like, this is going to happen eventually. Like, there's Let's nothing I can do. Yeah. I just want to go home. Here I go. I'm just going to shit my pants. There is that one. Like, it, I have also shit my pants. And there is that moment where you're like, you know what, man? It hurts too bad. I, I would rather clean it up than try and hold it in any longer. And you just got, you just know you're far too far away from anywhere to go. Yeah. And you just, you just, you're defeated. But at the same time, you're like, Oh, <laughs> for just a second. It's great. You're just trading. For one, just one. You're trading fucking, problems. We're at one fucking moment. Everything else is just like, fucking lifted and then you realize you're sitting in your shit so it quickly changes but yeah oh, that Jesus. reminds me of that video of uh, like a new york subway and the guy's got the mop bucket and he's <laughs> yeah. and the homeless guy just runs up pulls his pants down real Shins quick and just shit and you can tell that's what he was thinking was like it's either in my say, pants yeah. or on the ground oh there's a bucket fucking yeah. this is the best option i've yeah. seen <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Next one comes in from Keith Allen Prather, serial killer. Serial killer. We'll uh, put him in the book. Yep. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever walked in on someone else doing the dirty. Mm-hmm. Who the oh, fuck has absolutely it? absolutely I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. More than I have. once. Yeah. Like my my dad uh, and oh. his, uh, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, you told were. that story, actually. Yeah. Cleaning lady. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah you, I remember you telling that story. It wasn't that yeah. long ago. Yeah. Two weeks well, ago. Yeah, probably. Told me that story, yeah. But have you, like, ever walked in on, like, friends? Yeah. I yeah. don't think I've ever walked in on friends. Dude, did you ever go to parties in high school? Yeah, I did. How did you not? Uh, I, I kind of kept to myself I, would, oh, okay. I i didn't i'm you didn't go searching through rooms yeah, i'm like not me going and jp did yes. dude, dude i remember one time i remember one time fucking i was at a party and i i walked into a room thinking it was the bathroom and it was not and my buddy ezra was just pounding the shit out of <laughs> this girl heather and uh like the next day it this was like on a friday monday at school heather came fucking to school with an eye patch on <laughs> and uh, it's because he shot her in the eye <laughs> dude she had to wear an eye patch for two weeks <laughs> what did That's she get great. some kind of infection or something yeah or? no but to, and they the drops and that makes your eye sensitive to light oh Crush. buddy so dude <sighs> I totally would not. I would never have come to school. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm out. I'm off. No. Yeah. I'm what out. happened to your eye? Never mind. <laughs> the people that were at the party knew it because, like, immediately. Because he told everybody no, he knew. No, dude, immediately when it happened, she started screaming and fucking ran out of the room. Like, oh, freaking no. Out. And then he came flying out after her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's good shit. <laughs> it was a good time. Is that. So Anybody that went to school with me that was at that party. Man, that was a Ricky Cannon's house. <laughs> See, I feel like I'm lucky that I don't know the answer to this, but does cum burn your eyes? It burns. <laughs> Interesting. It absolutely. J Ask JP. You want to know more if than you want to know what it feels soap? if you want to know what it feels like and you don't want to come in your eye. Yeah. <laughs> Take just the littlest dab of toothpaste and just rub it around on your eye. So it's toothpaste. <laughs> it's burn. So is that, yes, is it that's worse the than, kind of burning. Is it wow. worse than getting soap in your eye? A hundred percent worse. <laughs> Way worse. Okay, wow. so that leads me onto this line of thinking. Girls will say that they don't get soap in their vagina because it stings. Oh, yeah? They'll, like, wash the outside, but they won't, like, get in there with it. Even though they need to, 
<laughs> but so you're saying that cum burns worse than soap well, then does. shouldn't it burn their vaginas? Is yes, that what you're saying? That's oh. exactly what I'm saying. Wow, that's a good point. I don't I've know. I've never thought of that. Yeah. See, so I just think these are dirty bitches who yeah. are like, I don't want to wash you. That's how because I don't think cum would burn a vagina. I don't. Well, I wouldn't think sense. it would burn an eye. Either oh, well, that. it does. I've, I've never thought about letting someone come in my face until right now <laughs> to prove. <laughs> Jerry, this is for science. It's science. I promise the people extra content <laughs> <laughs> on next week's OnlyFans Turbo. Tugs. Don't forget to sign up for our Patreon. <laughs> On Mike Baldwin's face. To watch our we're science like, project. We're like the Mythbusters. Yeah, exactly. And they'll have to show it on YouTube because <laughs> yeah. it's science. Because it's science. This isn't gay, YouTube. It's science. It's science. And it's just me the whole time repeating, like, this is not gay. I'm not gay, you it's guys. It's true. It burns. Did I ever tell you the Eiffel Tower story? Uh, I, I'll make it really quick if I ahead. haven't. So when I was in high school, there were some seniors, and they were going for uh, homecoming uh, queen and king, right? Well, um, there were two guys that uh, had a threesome with a girl who was going up for homecoming queen, and one of the guys was going up for homecoming king. Well, whenever they introduce you, they tell you some some special facts and stuff like that oh, about no. you. Oh, <laughs> no dude, way! And, and the teachers had no fucking no clue. Way. No fucking clue. So the guy who was introducing was just like, "Yeah, this here is Jeff, and he uh, really likes to go to Paris and visit the Eiffel Tower." And all of the fucking kids mm. are losing their shit, and the parents, or and then the parents, and then like the fucking teachers are like, "What's so goddamn funny?" And we're like, well, "We have no idea. No fucking clue." Wow. <laughs> Did he, right. win? Uh, did I think he, he win? I think he did win, actually. He I can't did, remember. Did the but. girl win also? Uh, no, the girl did not. Oh, that poor girl. Yeah, it sucks. Her life went downhill then. Uh-huh. She's a twin, too. And she was oh. hot. Uh, anyways, all right, moving on. Let's go to, uh, let's see, Connor Pusser, I think is his name. <laughs> Connor Pusser? Oh. Ah, damn it, that's a great name, buddy. But Connor wants to know, never have I ever prank called a play so many times that they blocked your number. Connor with a K. Connor with a K. Pusser with a P. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's Connor with a K. Yeah. Pusser with Pusser a P. Pusser with a P. Uh, have you ever prank called a play so many times that they blocked your number? No. No, because whenever I used to make prank calls, there was no blocking of the numbers. I, I was getting ready to say, whenever I was prank yeah. calling people, it was they caller ID a, I don't even think existed. Yeah, right. Because that was a long fucking time yeah. ago. Yeah. I remember uh, we were having a like a sleepover. That was a high school thing, so there were girls also and uh and anyway long story short we were looking up just randoms in the phone book oh yeah and so i didn't know this at the time but in the phone book if your name is thomas it just says t-h-o-s in the phone book just wow. to, as a abbreviation, abbreviation or whatever i didn't know that so i called this guy and i was like thos we got a grease <laughs> fire there's a grease fire down here at the restaurant thos and the guy's like what who the fuck is this and i was like you got to get down here it was a stupid thing but the guy was like my name's not thos you fucking idiot <laughs> that's fucking awesome uh yeah no i i've never i've never been blocked we used to just order pizzas to people oh yeah that I've done that ha, did you Going okay back. uh how about this did you ever get good enough at it to where you get one on the sound boards and started and acted like soundboard yeah, okay no. so i got i got pranked pretty goddamn good one time nice oh yeah it was it was pretty good uh all right and last one this one comes in from brian garberding he wants to know never have i ever regifted an item back to the same person who gave it to me i don't think i've done that i either. don't think so no nah, because all of the gifts that people get me i really appreciate yeah me too even if it's a shitty gift yeah it doesn't matter i, I don't care i still have all of these fucking tyrannosaurus dicks on i'm on my sure i have regifted shit before <laughs> oh this is bad <laughs> <laughs> what did you do oh so i used to go out like my very first real boyfriend okay we were together for like five or six years um we broke up <clears throat> i started dating this guy loaded <laughs> one of the top neurosurgeons in the country <laughs> why did the fuck did that go he away? would send me flowers like once a week really and by flowers, I mean like three dozen roses. Jesus just, Christ. I mean, Sounds dude, for gay. Valentine's Day, he bought me a hundred roses and had them delivered to my work. Wow. There were so many of them that people thought that they were complimentary. I worked at Red Lobster at the time. 
and they were taking them on their way out. Oh, that's funny. I would just let them because what the fuck am I going to (laughs) do? But anyway, I used to give them to my ex. (laughs) Tell them I wanted him back. Oh, my God. I'm a fucking horrible person. (laughs) You are a fucking horrible person. I am a piece of shit. Oh, sucks. But yeah, so I guess there's that. That's regifting. I guess that counts. Yeah, that does. All right. How about no. you, Mike? Did, have you ever done that? I don't know that I've re-gifted anything yeah. that I can really think of. Yeah, herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know. I mean, you got it. If hey, you're gonna get laid, we're, we're all having fun here. Yeah, Come on, we're, guys. All having, we're having a good time. Yeah, you know, I, if I receive a blowjob, my wife is going to, you know, get some of that there you in go. return. That's re, that's re-gifting. See, no, I. That reminds me of a story. <laughs> of, of a girl who went down on me in the car to completion. I came, I, I was done, and she was like, "Won't we hop in the back?" And I was like, "No, what? <laughs> no, no, we finished this." We're done. And she's like, "I'm not done," and I was like, "Well, you should have thought of that before <laughs> you let me be done, because now I'm done. Thus, we are done." <laughs> It's like a it's a fucking lion situation. <laughs> when oh the lion God. comes, he just lays down. Just lays down. That's I mean, it. that's dude. Like <laughs> nothing changes my mind faster about life in general than <laughs> than just coming. That's you know? called post nut clarity. But that's, that's how I can. That's how I judge whether I'm actually into a chick or not. Is I will I'll be talking to her and then I will jerk off and then I just won't want to talk to her anymore. <laughs> oh my and I'm god. Like, no, all right. So that wasn't my brain thinking that she was awesome. That wow. Was- yeah. All right. Uh, well, now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. This is That's Where I Draw the Line. Love it. All I right. fucking like these. These are all good. So we're kick this off with Tyler Freeman. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? The size of your television in your living room. Well, since I don't have a living room. <laughs> <laughs> or in your studio apartment. Oh, uh, there's not a limit. There like, is no I've limit. Got, the I've limit is big how big is now. the wall. Yeah, exactly. Right now I've got a 75, but I would like to go bigger. Yeah, have, absolutely. Like Dude, you have should. you seen the laser the projection uh, deals? The, but the laser projectors, uh-uh. they're very expensive, but they are fucking... Dude, they can be like fucking six inches away from the wall and get up to like 150. That's fucking they're, cool. They're, and just crystal fucking clear. That's what but I want. they're like 12 grand. Oh, fuck that. Wow. No, I don't, I don't want that no more. <laughs> fuck yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, there is no fucking limit. Yeah. It, it, it's as large as the fucking wall. That's how big. Right, Mike? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've had the same TV for seven years or something now, so I just anything would be an upgrade at this point. Exactly. But, but no pressure, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one comes in from Taylor Bickett. He wants to know, or she wants to know, I think it's he, uh, where do you draw the line? What temperature of the thermostat at somebody's house is too high or low before you say something or leave? Mm. I if yeah. I go into a house and their air conditioning is not working and oh, it's yeah. the summer, then yeah, I will but at that point they are telling you, "Hey, our AC is yeah, out." Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the same thing, if you walk in there and it's like it's hotter than balls or if, or it's vice versa, if it feels like a goddamn freezer, then it's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Turn your heat on or something. It depends what clothes I'm wearing, though, too. Like, sometimes in the summertime, you just, I mean, we're human beings. Mm-hmm. You just accept the fact, like, all right, it's fucking 90 everywhere I go. Exactly. You're not answering I'm gonna, the question. I'm going to sweat tonight. He wants to know how high. How is high? high how, how high is, is too high? high? Uh, you know, like fucking 80 is too high. I think over 75. That And that's yeah. good, too. I'll take that. Uh, 75 or over. And then below. 60 67 okay yeah 65 that's the, 65 65 to 75 no that's i mean I, like i had a roommate for a while who like took after his dad and uh, most of our dads i assume where he was like we don't need to turn it on you yeah know? Like, oh yeah and he was like if you're cold put something warm on yeah and he would wear like full-on coat and hat and shit in his house just so he wouldn't have to turn the heater on and i lived with him for like three years so i got used to it you know yeah no. I got used to fucking pooping cold. <laughs> That's the worst. It really is. That is the worst. But you get used to it. That's yeah. what I said. Like, we're I human know. beings. You can get used to literally anything. That's true. 
Uh, next uh, one. Uh, <laughs> uh, JP. Hey, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> uh, next one comes in from Bradley Hovland. He wants to know how much coffee or energy drinks is too much for one day. I can tell you right now, I don't drink coffee. Uh, I neither. I so do one. not drink coffee at all. Energy drinks, though, if if it's a if it's a day where I'm where we're doing the show, if we are recording, I'm all I'm going to be up until midnight, no matter what. <clears throat> so, I have two energy Ooh. drinks. <laughs> Ooh, it's either midnight or three a.m. It just kind of depends. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I need an energy drink later in the day to keep uh, my ass up. So. Hmm. If two is the maximum, otherwise you're fucking gonna die, dude. I uh, used to drink when I worked at QT. Uh, my manager at my one store banned me from energy drinks because I was drinking like three a shift. Jesus, and he Christ. was like, "Dude, you're too much off energy drinks. You're way too much when you've been drinking energy <laughs> Fuck. drinks." So he banned me, <laughs> and I haven't drank any since. Good for you, because yeah. they are And awful. that's why I just sit around and smoke pot and play video games, <laughs> because I have no energy. Yeah, and that's why you're so fucking mellow. Yeah, I am yeah, pretty mellow. You are. I didn't used to, dude, I used to be a dick. <laughs> you still kind of are a dick. No, but, but like I was just like in your face. Oh, dick. really? Yeah. yeah, that's why I still smoke weed, because if I don't, Yeah, then I'm I'll, freaky. Dude. I'll either be yeah. weird excited or i'm i'll be i'll just cry yeah and, and you're a good example for coffee mike because you always have coffee on you yeah a- everywhere I've, I've seen or talked to you you always have coffee i was thinking about that today because i'll like uh, i'll quench my thirst with coffee, coffee? that's know? not like, good no it's not but i'll like i always <laughs> used to judge people who would drink alcohol with their meal or whatever and i can totally drink coffee with breakfast which you is- know Fucking, that's normal. Coffee with breakfast is normal, but like coffee with like a hamburger. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. trust me. I have, I'm not I that far coffee. yet, but uh, I'm the same way. Whenever somebody orders coffee, I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know how close does someone need to be to you before it's too close for your personal space? Depends on the person. Does yeah, depend on the person. For sure. This was the best part about COVID, though. Yeah. <laughs> this was the best part about COVID. Everybody had to have their space, and I do not like strangers in my fucking bubble. Yeah. I don't like it. So that was the best part. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a five-footer. JP? I don't really. I mean. You don't really care? Yeah, I can't. If it's a stranger. Let's say it's a stranger. You don't give a shit? No. But even That's stranger weird. is not specific enough. Is it an attractive female stranger? Right. I mean come I mean, on, come hug me. If it's baby. a crazy if it's a but even like yeah, I don't know. I don't think I You don't you don't have unless a unless you're coming to fucking murder me. <laughs> I don't I mean you could Yeah. I, mean, I could be this close to whoever no. as we are right now and All right. be just fine. Good for you. Yeah, I don't know. For me if you stink then I don't want you right. close. Right. I mean that's obviously why. there's yes, there's those kind if of If I can things, smell but, you from 6 feet away yeah. and then you come in and try to hug me, I'm going to be I'm like gonna, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to step out of the way. Right? It's still covid kind of. <laughs> Get yeah. away from me, you fat smelly person. <laughs> or skinny smelly person. Yeah, all all people stink. Uh, and last one comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know how long is too long for someone to order food? Oh my God. Please don't just go in the fucking store. The drive through is not the place to order your fucking family meal of 15. 100%. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking annoying. 100%. Some places are, oh, they don't have so the dining room open anymore. Bull fucking shit. Some places don't. No, I've been yes, to a they few drive throughs where they're crazy. like drive through only. We've well, talked about this before. I know we've, we've brought this up. Uh, if you have, if you were ordering for multiple fucking people, you know, like that one person that goes out to lunch to get everybody their fucking shit. Uh huh, dude. And then they bring they come into the restaurant. Fifteen they bring- different yes! cards. <laughs> it's all separate. <laughs> I bet it is. Fuck you. Yeah, man. Fuck you, you pieces of shit. Uh, I, I just, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know what? Go inside. Go inside and make fucking orders and have everybody Venmo you the money and then you pay for it with one card. That's the same goddamn thing. It's not that fucking hard. But what I think this question is actually asking is how long to how long is too long for somebody to order food? And I will tell you what it is. When you are in the drive through at a fast food place and that person, you can hear them talking and you're right behind them. And guess what they're doing? 
Uh, um, and then Johnny, what do you want, Johnny? Um, no, I don't want that. Do you guys have hamburgers? What the yeah. fuck are you doing on the way to this goddamn quick this this fast food restaurant? It's the you not know, looking you at get, the menu. You get the same shit every if, fucking time. Yeah, you know what's on the you fucking menu. You know what you, you want, dumb it bitch. I don't. And it's always a woman. It is. It always I is. Know. There's or it's never, damn women. There's never a guy that's doing that shit. He's new. He's new, he's known what he wants. <laughs> for a long time he never gets Forever. it because he's a dude we <laughs> never get we what we want get the same shit every single know. time yeah, right. same shit I know how much my order comes to at Sonic yes same thing if I go to McDonald's $13.86 if I go to McDonald's every time. and they fucked with me it used to be a number one which was the two cheeseburgers yeah, now with, number one's Big Mac that's, that's exactly my, that's my right. jam right there now it's I think like number a number one. seven I haven't ate McDonald's in a long yeah. fucking time but it we was, know yeah. that shit so yes, that's ridiculous. Yeah, crazy. So, anyways, that's where I. Uh, that's what. Uh, what did I say? Wow, this. That's, that's where, where I, I draw, draw the line. line. Fuck. Brain fog. I'm telling Brain you, fog. I'm fucking telling you, fucking it's, sucks. It's all the sickness, not yeah, like the margaritas. Yeah. But uh, but now we get to move on to the very fun part, which is questions and preguntas. Again, thank you all for participating in sun Sunday, Monday, Sunday, something like that. Uh, we're going to kick this bad boy right off. Uh, first one comes in from Nathan Blackwell. He wants to know, what's your favorite 1990s memory? Uh, Super the, Nintendo. The nostalgia, baby. Super Nintendo in my basement on the, on the green three-piece couch that my dad brought home from, like, the waiting room of his office <laughs> that we we put down in the basement and yeah. me and my next door neighbor brad whose sister i looked at naked through the window oh uh, there we go there full go. circle we, <laughs> full call circle. back dude we we stayed up all night long like multiple times oh yeah just playing random nintendo games and yeah those were some good memories so i don't know when did the nintendo 64 start come out late 90 okay because that's 98 99 that sounds maybe. fine because there wasn't there, there was nothing like playing golden eye 007 with your friends oh uh, yeah on temple as the map and the fucking i, I never got into big it heads enough, yeah. oh yeah that was the shit and then i remember later uh and this is probably early, early 2000s but did you ever go to like a land party uh, no, like all of the a local area nerds. network party. Yeah, they would have like Halo on four different fucking Xbox boxes all the way throughout <laughs> the fucking house, and I never forget it. I never went to that, by the way. I, I never went. No, much. I never he did. He hosted it. <laughs> Fuck no. I just that's not something I was into. But mm. I I did go to a party to like uh, I think we went to like pick somebody up, and they were at one of those parties, and we had girls with us. Whoever answered the door, biggest fucking nerd in the world, he basically opens the door and goes, oh, yeah, we got girls here. Yeah, man. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no, boy. we're just here to pick up this guy. But, yeah. <laughs> nice. So, anyways, that, uh, I'm going to go Nintendo 64, GoldenEye. How about you, JP? First time I fucked a dude was in the 90s. Hey! <laughs> that is definitely... That's the one. That's the magical yeah. fairy yeah, dust. That was, and is that guy still in jail now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, good. Well, good, good. Glad yeah. he's out. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know rejected Craigslist ads. Uh, I don't know that they reject anything. Tickets to P. Diddy's parties. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> there you Only go. Only maybe. I uh, Craigslist used to be awesome, dude. It I used to. Did. I used to get like summer work and yeah, like sell shit and buy shit. You like, can still do all that, but it's very much more dangerous. Yeah, yeah. right. No I know. Shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It used to be cool. Now it's like, I don't really trust it. Craigslist. I tried to put some dildos on there once and they said no. <laughs> Craigslist had hookers, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. A lot of hookers. A lot of hookers. And but that's now, like, like face, Facebook dating has hookers. Right. So it's like, it's yeah, not it's, a niche Facebook. Or Facebook is the new. Yeah. Facebook yeah. Marketplace, baby. Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> it for is, real. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I would say just dildos, I guess. It's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe jock straps or something like that. They <laughs> the wouldn't ground do. down and ass hammer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take it to pound town. Uh, uh, did you already say something, Mike? No. 
You know, are you good? I'm good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next one comes in from Zachary Stern. He wants to know what phone sex operators are actually doing on the other line. Are these all from 20 years ago? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. What oh, where, what, yeah. Where, Who, where are from? we? Where did we, we just we transport the 90s, to? Baby. Phone sex. Yeah. Who the fuck is calling phone sex? Like, I have no idea. What are webcam girls doing on the other side? And and that is they're fingering themselves. I know because I'm watching. (laughs) Oh, yeah, right. I don't know if I don't know what they're thinking about. Did you know a fun fact about like people that were on phone sex lines? Like 98% of them were overweight white overweight chicks. housewives yeah, yeah exactly. those nice voices like, and they exactly. would just they'd be doing their laundry and shit it's like, yeah. uh, what video is that it's a music video oh, and that's know. the guy that calls in the hut and you see her ironing and doing the laundry and dishes oh while she's fuck. Talking to i have not seen it's that. an aerosmith video it is aerosmith 100 percent, but i don't know which one. Oh, that's but, great like her voice <laughs> like at the end of the video she's like all right well thanks for calling <laughs> but it's it's you're like that does not match yeah, but yeah exactly i don't know if anybody knows what aerosmith video that was <laughs> hit, hit us up let us know uh how about what do you think go down there mike well, i i thought i said oh yeah you're right they ain't doing shit you yeah. are right or they're doing a lot or whatever i said yeah we're past it now <laughs> yep we are uh all right uh next one comes in from craig remington he wants to know what is your sexy time theme song uh as that supposed to be a thing, Shaft. Oh yeah, the Shaft theme song. The Shaft, sh- okay. shut your mouth. Mine, I- mine's just the noise of sirens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we gotta hurry. Uh, Every time he an ambulance goes by, Mike gets hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's the Office theme song. Oh, I like that. It, okay, it just is. That's Every cool. time on I'm a, fucking on a loop. I love exactly. that. Exactly. Or I, I guess that. it only plays once. It's what ninety seconds long. Yeah. Exactly. You're it, like, it, I don't even get to the end of it. Yeah. You try to come at the final, like bump, yeah. bump, 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 <laughs> bump. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. Yep, Reese. Reesey. Reese Newland. <laughs> so Reese Newland. If I ever have a Reese's peanut butter cup and Reese Newland comes up and says, "You better let me have that," then I'm going to hand it over. That's right. That was a <laughs> terrible. How Mitch did you Hedberg. say? How did you say it? Reese's pieces. Yeah. Do you say Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces? What the fuck did I just say? I, I, I think it was Reese's Pieces. Yeah, because I'm a normal human being. Thank okay. you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, but Reese wants to know, weird things to leave in your will. Well, I'm going to leave Reese a big pile of shit. <laughs> so, fuck you, Reese. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, make him get on a plane and fly to talk yeah. to my lawyer to be yep. like, here's a bag Here of you shit. Go. <laughs> Here you go. It was bequeathed to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, my answer would be uh, JP's dildos. <laughs> so yeah. That'd be, that would be, yeah. Be Weird strange, things to leave in strange your thing. will. Yeah. The, the cat you buried in the backyard or whatever. Oh, God, yeah. Fucking, or you can person. find it. It's yours. <laughs> There's a person somewhere in one of these walls. <laughs> it's yours. That's right. That would be weird. Uh, uh, Mike, did you say something? Um, I don't have anything. That's fine. Not. I don't mean I don't have an answer. I mean I literally don't. right. No, I have anything <laughs> to will. Anything yeah. to leave. I don't even. I barely have the will to live. <laughs> like, I don't let have alone the will to, to leave. make a will. Mike's yeah. like Scotty's snowboard bindings. That's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. No, I've got. Uh, I have like fifteen years worth of voice recordings of me doing stand-up comedy, that's and I'm going to leave those to somebody. So they can like make albums and stuff out of it. Yeah, I'll yeah, do we'll it see. for you. Whoever donates the most money via my tip jar at <laughs> mikeisfunny.com <laughs> will uh, have a better chance. I got a buck. <laughs> he, got a, he has a dollar. <laughs> nice. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know rejected. I'm sorry, rejected prices right prizes. Hookers and cocaine. <laughs> We're gonna fly you all the way to fabulous Las, <laughs> Las Vegas. Vegas. Yep, that's right. You get to hang out with P. Diddy. For two days and three nights, you and the Diddler. They're like, let's take that episode down. Yeah. Oh, I wonder man. how many, like, it's kind of upsetting, not Diddy, but like, 
the people who got busted for doing terrible things always have really good products. Yeah. Michael Jackson's music was great. Excellent. R. Kelly's music was great. Yeah. The Cosby show was fucking awesome. The Cosby show was Roseanne awesome. was really good. Mm-hmm. Like, granted, they all got canceled. Dude, that for bitch has things. gone crazy. <laughs> I don't think she's... Have you seen her recently, dude? Yeah, she went crazy. She's skinny. She, what, what did she say that's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what sucks about politics nowadays, though, is that people are just like, crazy. fuck her. And I'm like, what did she say that upset you? And Man. you're like, I just hate her. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Well, I, uh, crazy. I'm going to go with a. Uh, <laughs> you're still like a, answering yeah, the I, will yeah, question. I am, I, no, not the will. No. The oh, price is right. Oh, right, right, right. I'm going to go with a trip to Egypt to watch the, the fucking, fucking eclipse. eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I would like oh, to sorry, win wrong that. button. Huh? I would I would take that. Yeah. I mean, I would I would absolutely love it. I'm not going to watch the fucking eclipse. I would. Ah, all right. Well, you go have fun with that. Uh, and last one comes in from Jesse Petal. He wants to know places no one brags about visiting. If Jesse Petal was a musician. Uh huh. Would his like fans be called pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> have we said that before? Yes, you I think have we said have. That before. Yeah. Every time I see his name. Yeah. Well, you yeah, got a wah wah pedal. Yeah. It was, <laughs> places I, no one brags see. about visiting. Ew. The, the window outside my neighbor's bathroom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking love it. Nice. I don't like to brag about that. I was a young young kid. Yeah. Same age. We were the same age. Yeah. So it's not weird. I. Denny's. <laughs> God damn it. I would brag about that, depending on what I ordered. Yeah, that's true. The the, the Waffle House? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be worse. That's way worse. Indiana. <laughs> hey, Indiana's got some nice fun places. Does it? Yeah, they I got think some so. nice fun <laughs> potholes. So. They do. Yeah. Absolutely. But like no, can like Wichita, Kansas, man. No. You think we got a good travel scene? Nobody is gonna be like, you will not. You'll never guess where we went last weekend. <laughs> Wichita, Kansas. What? We had a fucking blast. There is so much to do there. What for, could no. we For what it's worth, it's actually now that I think about it, like we've got excellent like food and restaurants. Oh, we do. We and our excellent. zoo's really good. Our zoo is pretty good. And uh, we have some bowling alleys, which is always a plus. Yeah, that's some pretty true. good ones. I heard one of the best there's ones like in the a, state. There's an art museum or something here that I've met other comedians on the road that are like, oh man, the art museum you got there is badass. And yeah. I'm like, shut up, nerd. <laughs> shut up, nerd. <laughs> no, I've been to that museum and they do got some cool fucking shit. I haven't shit. been, but I've heard. But you if you want to go on our first date, hit me up, MikeIsFunny.com. <laughs> Ladies, nines and tens only. Only, please please <laughs> absolutely or, or sixes with, with money <laughs> uh, or money sixes yeah. that have money is fine no like you can be a six through like gluttony and laziness if sure. i know that if you get rid of those things you'll be an, an eight or a nine yeah and you got to be pro pot right mm. you don't have to be you oh, just okay. you just can't be anti me smoking right <laughs> oh, okay you sure. don't have to be like yay weed but i don't want you to be like are you smoking again, again? <laughs> i'm like i hey i smoke all right yeah that anyways uh yeah but that is questions and preguntas well, for I, this week oh what i was gonna say what's something we could put in wichita that they don't have anywhere else that would be like a touristy thing <laughs> spangles <laughs> <laughs> we already have it i went to spangles the other day actually uh, did you tell that broad to shut the fuck up no why is she uh, what's wrong okay renee steven is the owner of spangles which is like a local fast food restaurant with places. good ice cream and and guess what the food is not really it's not bad it's actually pretty decent but she is kind of a cunt and she, she has a lisp and uh they make her say things with s's all the fucking time and it cracks me up and, and, it, and you i think know they her stopped. in real life or i have met her in real life and i know for a fact ditto she is a cunt she owns Ditto. all of Ditto. the Spangles. She or owns all of the Spangles. And is her name Spangle? Uh, no, Steven. Her name's Renee. Yeah, oh. Renee Steven. So it's all a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, she's cut. Well, um, I, I was just thinking, like, if we had a good cool, for stocking like, stuffers, like, <laughs> like the largest Here's Spangles. Here's your Spangles. We make your order fresh, fresh when you order it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that, that that I was on the show where we just make fun of things people have no control over. Oh no, she, thanks, guys. She's trying. No, no, no. She can control not being a cunt. <laughs> all right, she can. Well, she doesn't do a very she good job at it. Very good job. No. 
Uh, but anyways, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Thank you guys for participating in uh, Monday, Sunday. Yes, it will now be back to Monday, Friday. Is Mont Hopefully. just throwing up? Nope. That's what Urban Dictionary says. Oh, Why don't no. you just fucking tell me? Uh, we'll look it up in the uh, in the break. Because uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And ladies and gentlemen, JP won two weeks in a row. No technicalities. Straight out wins. And against Derek. Yeah, fuck Derek. So good for you, JP. Very proud of you. So that means... (laughs) I'm trying for the three-peat. You're trying for the three-peat. JP uh, has... hard to do. He's got the championship picks. I came in last. (laughs) I'm surprised. I'm shocked. So I get the uh, sandwich picks. Um, I get the Eiffel Tower picks. Yes, yes, you do. (laughs) And Mike uh, has been on the show for a while, so he gets the first overall pick. Oh, cool. So I get the vagina side. You do. Not the butt (laughs) side. (laughs) Yay. Nice. Uh, And so this week's draft is going to be skills that we wish we had. But not superpowers. Not superpowers. Just generic skills that we wish we had. So, uh, Mike, you're going to kick this thing off with what skill do you you wish you could do or have? Uh, I wish that I could sing. Ooh, that's a good one. You can't <laughs> sing? No. Damn, I can sing. I was I in a, I was in a band, baby. Were you? Yeah, I no. was in a band. Yeah, I, I was. I can't sing I was at a all. lead singer in a band back in the day. Uh yeah, don't ask me to fucking find I, that shit. I don't want to. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I thought you were going to say, don't ask me to sing. No. And I was like, that's the last thing I want. Yeah, I know. I, dude, I'll watch somebody sing if it's a performance, but I don't, or I'll like, I, I don't mind if I have a girlfriend and she's like cleaning and singing or something like that. Yeah. But if somebody just like busts out their guitar and makes eye contact and they're like, listen to this, I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fucking ha- have you perform for just me. It's yeah. weird. No, and we were outside uh, in the break, and we were talking about like the most uncomfortable things that for me is is the absolute cringe of watching somebody who thinks they're excellent at singing go on the voice, and they're awful. Uh, oh, yeah. it's so bad. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I actually have a story for my first pick. I uh, my first pick is going to be I wish I could dunk, and my best friend uh, or an oldest friend, we played basketball together when we were kids. And we would always lower the goal down. Yeah. And he could dunk whenever we did that. I still couldn't. So I would get a fucking cooler and go and jump on top of the cooler and jump in order to dunk. And so I really wish I could fucking dunk. That would be so fucking cool. That would be cool. Yep. JP, you get two in a row. Hmm. I wish I could. I wish I was better at money management. That's Ooh, a skill, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, I don't have anything to manage, <laughs> but if I did. You would have more if you could. I would could. have more if I could. <laughs> if you could, yeah. Yep. If I was good at money management. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and you get one more. And uh, I guess I wish I was super athletic. Is that a, like, you want like a specific. Yeah, a specific Like, one. I wish I was good at. Like exercising. Like fucking being motivated to exercise yeah like a motivation yeah was, motivated oh yeah i wish i was more motivated if i was more motivated dude i would be fucking yeah i hear dude, you i'm telling i have no motivation okay uh this uh this next one uh is is a good one i think i wish i could fight yeah i mm. wish i could fucking fight yeah be able to defend myself. I'm fucking five foot seven as it is. I can beat some fucking ass in my brain. Yeah, I can too. But man, like I can duck punches and like spin kick yeah. and all sorts of shit. Yeah, I, I wish I was a fucking like a, a weapon. You know, I wish I, I could consider myself a deadly weapon, but I can't. Uh, Mike, you get two in a row. All right. Well, this next one kind of tags along with the first one. I okay. wish I could dance. Yeah. I, and see, that's a great pick, but I can dance, so I can pick it. 
well, la di fucking da. <laughs> yeah. I wish that I could uh, write code. Oh, that's I, uh, I that's I wish a I knew good all that one. shit. That is a fucking good one, and it's fucking valuable too, right? Especially nowadays. But I think J- Chat GPT is eventually going to fucking take care of all of that. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah. Eventually, it'll be like I was thinking about this the other day, like. I, I'll be able to upload a picture of a, a chick that I know and be like, hey, AI, make a porn with this girl in it. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I'll be able to pause in the middle of it and be like, no, her pussy looks a little bit different than that. Like, yeah. fix it. And yeah. then it'll show me like this exact same scene, but like slightly altered vagina. <laughs> and I'll be yeah. like, nice. Thanks, chat GPT. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to go with my next pick. Uh I really wish I could draw. Ooh, yeah, art. Art. I really wish I could draw. I can't. Every, me either. No, me neither. I, I have to have, like, computer help. I can't draw where the shit. So that's my uh, third pick. JP, you get two in a row. I wish I could cook. Yeah, that's a good one. I can cook. I'm a decent cook. But yeah. But I'm not, like... Like I a, wish I was really a like good Gordon cook. And enjoyed, yeah, like, and enjoyed yeah, doing it. And, I do yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a fucking yeah. good one. And you get another one. Oh man, these are so tough because I'm so talented already. <laughs> right? That's why I'm having the same problem. Uh, man. Yep. I yeah. got I got a very good fourth pick. Uh, <laughs> Don't you wish you could snowboard, JP? I wish I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could process information faster. Okay. All right. Like, I would be so much better at poker if I could get the math of it. And, like, I get oh. I get it to a point. But, dude, it's so much deeper. Yeah. If you really want to make money, like, do that for a living. Yeah. Oh, for dude, sure. Guys will, like, in their head be like, all right, 26 to 1 odds. There's, right there. It's 25 to 1 in the pot. Like, I'm, I can't. The, I have it. these two cards. My opponent could have these two cards. This is the percentage of the time that I'm going to, you know, get called with a better hand. This is the, it's crazy. I think that's it, good. I think that's a I good I wish pick. I could process information But, I mean, faster. I think I think that you're, it's more than processing. It's actually poker. It, it, like, you you wish you could process, uh, like, mentally calculate odds in your head a lot Just faster. Just like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a great like pick. Like Rain Man, but not Ro- retarded. But not Fuck, retarded, yeah, yeah, but not retarded. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little bit of the tism. Yeah, I that just want to touch. That would be a... <laughs> Just the tip. Just, just, just the tip. tip. Of That'd be a cool version of that movie, you know? Yeah. Like, so Tom Cruise is still with him the whole time, but he's just like normal and smart. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he's like, fucking get off me, dude. Yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't I don't need, need you following you. me yeah, around. I don't need shit. you fucking. Okay. I, I got to get home and watch Wapner, dude. <laughs> I am I'm very I'm excited about this next pick. Uh oh. Yep, and it's definitely a skill that I do not possess. I wish I could last longer in bed. Damn it! Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch that one out. Yep, that's, that's good. horrible. That's a good pick. It's too bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like the lion, man. Just lion. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you get two in a row. Um, the one that I know for sure is uh, backflips. Oh, that's a good one. I can do that though. I wish I was good at. I I wish I could just bust out a backflip at any time. Oh yeah. Have you tried? It's been a long time. The last time I did, I landed like on the back of my head and curved yeah, up weird. That's not and good. that's a really it good. It was on pick. a trampoline. I it and no, it freaked me out. So I haven't tried since then. I can do it on a trampoline. I can do it. Definitely do it on a trampoline. I tried to do it on the snowboard. Oh. It. I got close. Yeah. But it hurt. I bet. <laughs> yeah, it I hurt. Bet. Uh, and your last pick, Mike. Um, you did sex things. I did. I did. Let me think. Talk about something for 30 seconds while uh, I think. Like, like water ski. Right? Isn't that something you'd want to do? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> it's it, for the shot. I'd be fine with it, but it's not. It wouldn't be on my list of yeah. five. Yeah, um, no, I get you. I just want to pick something that's going to not be too specific to me. Because my initial thought is uh, something comedy related, improv or being able to like be witty. Oh, that's or good. Something like that. You like quicker on your feet. Yeah, quicker off the cuff. But I feel like also just me being slow and dumb is part of my charm as a comedian. One hundred percent. I don't want to be too good. Oh yeah, you do. 
Um, you can still slow it down a little bit. But I'm just going through my day. I'm like, what do I do that I wish I could do better? Yeah. And JP took motivation, which was the thing I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, Lose weight. Work out. What's the longest anybody's taken to come up with an answer for You've got it. This is it. This is it. This is it. (laughs) Good. That's what I'm going for. You made it. Breaking (laughs) records. You made it. You've got the record. I wish that I could uh, uh, operate an airplane. Oh, fly a plane. Dude, that's a good That's one. a good pick. Nice. And it only took you two minutes to come up with it. <laughs> it's a minute 47. Okay. Oh, man. All right. So Sex stuff was was the was one the I one. that was yeah. like the first thing I wrote <laughs> down was like not that I want to last longer but just that I just really good at yeah, it yeah I want girls to be like oh my god have you slept with Mike Baldwin <laughs> if not you should <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> so hit me up mikeisfunny dot com no I was thinking about this while I was peeing before I was like I'm I'm not gonna do this show again unless somebody goes to mikeisfunny dot com <laughs> and donates some money to my tip jar but then I was thinking if somebody doesn't ever want me to do a show again then they should go you can like leave a little message when you donate anything yeah so if you don't want me to do the show you again let me know yeah, yeah and whichever one tips more I will honor it. So, okay, let's give that a shot. <laughs> Maybe I'll pay a bill this week. I my last pick. I really wish I could do stand up comedy. Oh, I thought you had your last pick already. No. I thought we were done. My no, bad. No, no, my I'm, we're going back and then JP. But I would. I really wish I could do stand up. You can. I can't. I'm. I'm not. I'm just not. I don't have that gift. I don't have that. There's no gift. I can't write jokes. It's I can't. just go up there and talk. That's, oh, I know. That's step one. I know, but I don't have. I don't. There's definitely a skill that comes with it. And here's the other thing: I suck with rejection. So if I go up and bomb, which you're gonna do, just as a comedian, it's gonna happen. Yeah, that is would kill. Never me. happens to me. Oh, well, fuck not you, me JP. Either, no, I really wish that I could be good at stand-up comedy but if you, you go know, up and let's say you talk for three minutes and one thing you says makes one guy go ha, <laughs> that will be enough for your ego to be like all right i think i can I do this better this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not i it. think i'm good but i think i i know what i'm doing i think i can improve on that one okay. laugh all right I, I really do i wish i could do that i've seen the great comedians that we have on this show i've seen them all perform and I'm like, holy shit, I could never do that. So that's my last pick, doing stand-up comedy. JP, what is your final pick to wrap this, this bitch very up? very personal. Oh, okay. Um, I wish I could see colors. Oh, like yeah. Like I'm colorblind. What? Like I'm not see, I don't see black and white, but like I can't tell the difference between like blues and purples and reds and browns. And oh, yeah. Like I, I can't. I just like, if you ask me what color, like if it's too close, I have... No idea. Ladies like, and gentlemen, we need to get JP yeah, those, those fucking glasses, colorblind dude. glasses. Yeah. Have you yeah. tried them? No, I haven't. Oh, man. I, I would love to be here when you when put you them put on them for the on. first time. Yeah. Oh, for fucking yeah. Dude, I never yeah. knew that about yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I think, Absolutely not. I think not. I did know that, actually, but I forgot because... I um, don't care. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. That's awesome. No, seriously. Yeah, I know those that glasses would be, uh, are that fucking expensive. That would be my expensive. last pick, I would say. I know those glasses are fucking expensive, too. They are. They are. So, yeah, but so is life, bro. Yeah. It's worth it. Man, we should do like a GoFundMe to get JP some fucking colorblind glasses. But yeah, it's crazy. That'd like be I've seen rad. the videos, like all the different colored balloons, and then they put on the glasses, and I'm like, dude, that would be so fucking cool. But yeah. it looks like some of them just break down crying. I don't think uh, I'd be Yeah. I, I don't yes, think I'd you be, would. I don't think I'd be yes, that you emotional. Would. Oh, yes, you would. I, I don't know. Think so. I, have kn- I have known you well enough, long enough, and I think you would. I think it, it'd be cool. Yeah, it would blow your fucking would, mind. I don't know that I would like. It might. Yeah, I'm it telling might. you, dude. Like, if, if I could actually, yeah, it might. It would be, a, dude, it, might. It would be like, like the equivalent of me or Scotty putting on glasses that show you like UV rays or dude, something like so, that. So I didn't know for the longest time that I needed regular glasses oh, yeah. or contacts. Yeah. And so I didn't like, 
I didn't go get my eyes checked for like 10 years in between. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like driving like this. And I turns out, fuck yeah, I needed yeah. glasses. And, and I put, put glasses on, on like, for the first time. Exactly. Fuck. I'm yeah. like, holy fuck. How was I seeing shit? That reminds me of Brian Regan's joke. How can instantly improved vision not be at the top of your to-do list? <laughs> 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 eh, I'll see you tomorrow. Exactly. Speaking of which, uh, I'm still watching Louder Milk. Uh, and, and he's in it. Uh-huh. He does a great Dude, job. He's phenomenal. fucking great. Yeah. yeah, he's a funny guy. Dude. I like I like his uh, sports press conference joke. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. He's like, they always ask questions, but the people asking the questions don't have microphones. So you just hear, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, uh, yeah, it was a tough game. I, it's funnier when he says it because he has good. Oh, uh, yeah, we think the murderer is in that town that you said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can go, or that is this week's draft. You can go to Twitter X uh, at LOT sidelines or facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for the list of skills that you like the best. Um, yeah. Enjoy that. Have a lot of fun. Go and vote. We would appreciate that. Do it. Yep. And now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Mike Baldwin. Yeah. Mike Baldwin, you got some shows coming up, I'm hearing. I do. I'm going to be in uh, some random towns in Nebraska this weekend. <laughs> uh, Still don't know which ones. Don't know which uh, ones. At, hold on, I'll tell you. And then next weekend, I'm going to be at Vorshays <laughs> in Wichita opening yeah. up for Nick Hoff. Let me go to my own website. How Mike about like funny dot com? Omaha, Nebraska. Um, yes, yeah, soon I'll be on April twelfth. I'll be at, in Campbell, Nebraska, at a place called Scooter Rains Bar and Grill. Ooh, that sounds like my bar. That's April twelfth, April thirteenth. I will be at a place called The Den, formerly The Wolf Den, Ooh. but somebody else bought it and they took Wolf off the sign. Uh, <laughs> and that's in Hazard, Nebraska on April 13th. Hazard County. Hazard County, man. And then, yeah, Lincoln is uh, May 4th. I'll be at the Backswing Brewing Company. That's a Saturday. The day before that, I'll be at the other Backswing Brewing uh, Company in Omaha. There you go. So May 3rd and 4th. And then... Uh, All you people in Nebraska. And then Indianapolis, May 10th and 11th at Crackers Comedy Club. Indianapolis, Indiana? Uh, or Nebraska? What? <laughs> Indiana. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm then, just saying. And then I've got other stuff coming up, but I think I'm going to be here in the next week or two, yeah. so I'll tell you the rest later. Absolutely. Well, uh, happy to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Um, and uh, obviously, this, this show is always sponsored by JP as well. Everybody loves JP. <laughs> Who could blame him, really? <laughs> I am fucking him. dope. He's fucking dope. I think about the the playing Zelda and the f fairy princess ladies. <laughs> every, every time you play that music and JP goes, no. That's his fairy dust because, uh -huh. you know, he's a fairy. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is would you rather every time you're having sex, you get walked in on or... Somebody's watching you through the window. <laughs> oh, that's easy for me. The only way I can even get hard anymore is if somebody's watching through the window. <laughs> so I'm going with that one. I would like. Yeah, <laughs> you're going with the window, dude. I mean, yeah, I would Why go for the you? window. I Absolutely. stay in hotels a lot, and depending on what floor I'm on, I will straight up leave that curtain wide open. <laughs> and some chicks are into it, and some chicks are like, "Can you close that, dude. please?" There's like some bitch with those suction cups <laughs> <laughs> to the 43rd floor to peek in your window. That'd be fucking awesome. I, yeah. I, I know for a fact, for a fact, when me and my wife were in Kansas City, we were at a very nice hotel because it was our anniversary. Naturally, because it's our anniversary, we did a lot of fucking. And the fucking window was wide open. Oh, no kid. And I know for a fact that somebody was watching us fuck. But you don't know who or you didn't see anybody? Oh, no. It was a guy across at another hotel ah. that whenever I go out, uh, after I'm done having sex with my wife. Gave you like a thumbs gave up. Gave me a <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, really? Uh, it's like, I can't even get mad at the guy. 
Why? Because I'm the idiot that didn't close my fucking blinds. Yeah. I can't get mad at him. It's my fault. So he got a free show. I would definitely pick the window over. I don't want anybody walking in on me Hell every no. time. My yeah. mom walked in on me by myself one time, and that oh, that scarred the, me for life. Dude, that's where my mom walked in on me and my ex one time. Uh, I thought that, but that would be worse. I feel like that, by myself. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's worse. Yeah, and I've told this story I think before, but normally, like I had my gym shorts on. Normally, if I'm doing gym shorts. I would just tuck under the tuck the waistband under the balls and jerk off, <laughs> but not on this not day. Not on this day. <laughs> on this day, I had one full leg out of out of my gym shorts, so I was just like sprawled with uh, with no. un- gym shorts around one ankle, and my mom was like, "Is the cordless phone in?" Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, you can keep it. And, and then she said, "Sorry," and she was closing the door, <clears throat> and we never spoke about it. Uh, no, I waited awesome. about 10 minutes. I didn't finish. I couldn't. Well, yeah. I waited about 10 minutes. I walked out. I handed her the phone. She said thank you, and that was the end of it. But I will never forget. I I have been walked in on by her mother. Oh. oh. By yourself? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, I was with her daughter, and uh, that coincidentally ended the relationship hmm. um, like a month and a half later because of this. Uh, she was a very, very good Catholic uh, mother. Oh, Dude. man. And uh, for what it's worth, Catholic chicks are f- they're, they're always the crazy ones, well, right? I mean, not, you know. Just chicks in general. But yeah. her mom thought she was a virgin. Mm, she and was incorrect. <laughs> you know, like, That's what I thought, too, mama. <laughs> That's I, what I thought, wrong. too, but. And that, oh, that was a fucking nightmare. Mm. Oh, so bad. So, uh, yeah, uh, that that has happened. And I could never, ever experience that again. So over, I am especially over I'm over, taking yeah. the window 100%. Unanimous. Clean, clean, clean sweep. sweep. We're taking the fucking window. Yeah. God. So if anybody wants my address. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I live on the third floor, so. Yeah. I'm on the second, but. I just. The other you thing can is, get, get up, up there. there. <laughs> you can get up there. The other thing is, is I kind of think like if all of our phones are connected to the camera, and yeah. I just feel like they can see anything whenever they want. So that's eh. why I always prop my phone up like this, like that, I so they get off. a good view. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It's the least I, I could do. When I jerk off, I hold my phone like this, <laughs> so my thumb fat covers the front facing camera, and my fingers cover the back. <laughs> I want to know who has that fucking job. Who's the guy for the federal government? Oh, he's <laughs> watching fucking porn again. That, that just looks at the front facing camera and watches all of these guys it's, jerk their fucking I don't self. think there's a person there watching at all times, yeah. but the, the NSA is collecting every, I'm uh, sure. every single signal that gets sent from every phone. That's so fucking funny. And they're mapping the earth. I just, I just like thinking that somebody actually does have that oh, job. Oh, yeah, that would oh, be a cool that'd be, job. That'd be, that'd be, no. It wouldn't it would be terrible? Be oh, yeah, it'd be job. a great job for you. Yeah, I'd love it. Oh my You'd god. see a bunch of awful shit though, <laughs> yes, too. Oh, would. so much. Oh god, yeah. that's so terrible. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you guys so very much. We continue to grow. Uh, there probably will be some premium stuff coming soon. Let's hope. We're thinking about it, and JP's actually helping me, which is great because I need all the help that I can get. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Thank you very much. Love having you on the show. Thanks, y'all. And you probably will be on here for next week. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for Munt Day Friday because it will be on Friday. <laughs> keep your eyes peeled because it may not come till Sunday. <laughs> it may not. And if it's not, then that's going to be very bad because I think we may be recording Already on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled for Friday. Uh, and thank you guys so very much. Keep doing what you do. And as we always like to say, Guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, we hope that every gift you get is (laughs) regifted. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Mentos, the fresh maker. (laughs) Until next time. Keep Keep laughing, laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.